guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I want to share with you guys the Gummy Nex version 0.5.0. It's a ROM for the Galaxy Nexus CDMA uh, Verizon version. And this thing is really, really cool. I've been using it now for a couple of days and I really like it. Uh, one of the main things that I like about this ROM is the battery life. I've been getting excellent, excellent battery life. I'll show you guys real quick. I'll go to settings and battery and you see I've been on it for nine hours and I'm still at 67 percent battery that includes like streaming uh, radio applications that includes some YouTube internet browsing email all kinds of good stuff uh, that I've been doing all day on this thing I had heard awesome reports of battery life so I just had to kind of check it out for myself and I have found it to be uh, excellent in the battery life so we'll just move forward with our overview uh, in settings as well, you'll find soft key mods in the Gummy Nex. And you can include uh, the menu button and the navigation bar down here. And you can also include the search button down there, which is what I've done. I've got the menu button and the search button, uh, which is very functional. I really love to have those there. Uh, you know, if you go to a web browser and we'll just go to droidmoderx.com. Instead of having to use this menu button, uh, we can go to this menu button here and, you know, stop it or whatever. It's just nice to have that, that menu button there as well. Um, you're looking at the tray bucket launcher. This is actually a modified tray bucket launcher, uh, specifically modified for Gummy Necks by KJAR31. This is the Liberty Launcher. If you go to Menu, you can pull up your launcher settings. And uh, you see there's the Liberty Launcher 0.1 based off of Tray Bucket Launcher from Cyanogen Mod 9. You have some different settings that you can change here in the home screen, uh, general, and drawer, which is pretty cool there. Another cool thing about this is you do have performance settings. So if you go back to settings and look for performance, uh, this is for like your overclocking and your voltage control. You can go to max CPU and set this all the way up to 13 150 megahertz, which is pretty cool. You know, it runs stock at 1200 megahertz, but you can overclock it directly from uh, this ROM, which is really awesome. Another really cool thing here uh, that is included is the AOSP Wi Fi tethering. So if you go into, where's it at here? Maybe it's in more. And tethering and portable hotspot. If you go there and then go to Portable Wi-Fi Hotspot, it'll turn that on, and you'll have your tethering enabled uh, without it being modified here. It would send you to the Verizon uh, page where it would ask you to pay the subscription fee, but it's not doing that there. That's a really cool feature. It's built into, uh, built into the ROM, so you don't have to have the extra wireless tether application. It also includes this OI file manager which is really neat. Uh, most of you guys probably use Root Explorer, but this is a very good file manager that could replace Root Explorer. And then, of course, the T9 dialer is included here as well, uh, which is another cool custom goodie. And there's your T9 dialer. Uh, so lots of really cool features here. Um, highly customizable. Oh, another thing that I almost forgot to mention is the toggle widgets up here now include the 4G LTE toggle if you guys want to save battery. Okay, this ridiculous battery life that, that I've been getting, I had 4G turned off all day, so that was 3G only, so I should probably let you guys know that. But you can turn on and off your 4G just like that, very simply and easily. And, of course, one last thing is it does include the Gummy Necks wallpapers, which are all pretty, pretty stout. And if you've ever used the Liberty or Gummy series ROMs and you've seen these wallpapers in the past, uh, so overall, this is a really cool ROM. Oh, another thing, if you press and hold power, you do get a, an advanced power menu here with some toggles. And you go airplane mode, power off, the reboot menu, uh, which is you can reboot into recovery or bootloader. And let's see, if we bring that back up, you can also take screenshots directly from the power menu, which is really cool. Uh, I, I like that a lot. You can just press the screenshot button and it'll go ahead and take a screenshot just like that and save that into your gallery. 
Uh, so overall, this ROM is excellent. It's extremely stable. The only problem that I've had with this ROM, and I'm not even sure that it's the ROM because it was happening to me on Tranquil Ice as well, as I have my 3G to drop in and out uh, from time to time, but I have a feeling that that's actually Verizon and not the ROM. Uh, if you guys have experienced that problem with this, please leave comments below. Uh, so now we're going to jump into the quick install tutorial. I uh, get to Clockwork Mod Recovery, whichever way you do it. Uh, some people power down the device and hold both of these volume buttons along with the power button to bring up the bootloader, and then you can go into recovery from there. If you already have a ROM that has power options like this ROM, you can just go to Reboot and Recovery. That'll bring you to Clockwork Mod Recovery. So what you'll need to do is head to the link in the description, download the Gumminex ROM along with the G apps. Uh, make sure that you do get the G apps from KJR31. If you're not using the KJR31 uh, G apps, then it's not going to work with his ROM. Uh, also, you may have trouble if you have already installed the Touch Clockwork Mod Recovery because it may not it may not work. You need to have the stock. Uh, supported by Cush Clockwork Mod Recovery like what you see here. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is wipe data. Select that. Go down to Yes. I'm going to go back because I already have the ROM installed. Then you'll go to you'll go to Wipe Cache Partition. And you'll go to Yes. I'm going to go back because I've already got the ROM installed. You'll then go down to Advanced. And you'll wipe Dalvik. When all of that is finished, you'll go back and install. Let's see, we'll go back one more. And install Zip from SD card. Choose Zip from SD card. And it should be directly in your download folder. If you downloaded this directly to your phone, it'll be in that download folder. And you're looking for Gummy Next 0 0.5.0, go ahead and flash that. And in the same session, you'll then go down to G Apps and select that and hit Yes to install. Once that's installed, you'll come back to the main screen and you'll choose Reboot System Now. So guys, that's Gummy Next ROM. I thoroughly have enjoyed this ROM over the past couple of days. Hopefully I can bring you guys some more ROM reviews in the coming weeks. Uh, make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you've liked this video. Also comment below. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E9 to 3. Also be sure to check out my website, DroidModerX.com, for all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android device. Uh, guys, thanks for watching.